All right. So in order to make things a little more in the present, uh, Miss McLoon and I wanted to do something that gave you some time to kind of reflect on the fact that we're living history. I mean, that's always a cliche sort of thing that history teachers say, but I think in this moment, uh, many people feel pretty strongly that that's the case. So to do that, we set up some journal prompts and you have a bunch of different options. I'll pull them up here. They're color coded and labeled and there's 10 of them. We're gonna spend a couple minutes just talking about what our expectations are with this. And then you'll spend a couple minutes choosing a prompt that you wanna to respond to today. And then hopefully about 20 minutes responding. Ms. McLean, you wanna jump in? Yeah, and you do have an option if you feel like you wanna get away from the computer. Um, you've been spending so much time on it for who knows what reason for school, um, just for fun. Um, but if you feel like you wanna get away, you can handwrite this on, in, on notebook paper. Um, if you do that, make sure you copy and paste the images into the doc that we provided. So you still need to s submit it, but you can copy and paste the images. And you guys do that for math, so should be easy. Nice. Um, some of these are more image based or not necessarily like something you need to write out uh, just like text over and over again. Um, hopefully these options are compelling. We'll be doing different journal prompts throughout the like next few weeks um, on Fridays all kind of building up to you doing an interview of someone that you're living with and then sharing that interview out. So these are all to kind of guide you into thinking about what sorts of questions you can ask that person. Um, try to make it fun, take your time, pick something that you're interested in writing about or showing. Again, some of these are images, so you're being a little more creative. Hopefully there's something compelling. As always, give us feedback, let us know if you have questions.